Hello there, this is Nicole McGuirk for the Whiff of Joy Tutorials and Inspirations blog. And today I'm going to share how to use the Whiff of Joy thin steel dies with the Sizzix Big Shot. The first thing I'm going to do is take this fancy shape stamp and the coordinating die, and there's a greeting as well. And these already come, this particular stamp set comes mounted to some cling material and I'm just going to use some black ink and stamp that right on some red card stock. It's a real pretty little fancy outline shape. Then I'm going to take a stamp in the jig so that I can perfectly align my greeting inside that stamped label or shape. I'm going to use the season's greetings. Ink that with some black ink just for the moment. I'm going to take the Stampamajig T-square and plastic sheet and stamp that there and clean my stamp really well because I'm going to be using a white ink to stamp the greeting but it doesn't show up quite as well on the stamp and the jig sheet, so I went ahead and stamped that in black. I'm going to align that there, right inside my label. I'm going to put the T ruler back. I'm going to grab my white ink and my stamp. I'm going to ink that stamp up really well, leaving that T square in place, and stamp my greeting right inside the label can see that it's just perfectly aligned that way. And I like the two-tone effect of the different colors of ink. Once you've done that, with the coordinating dies, with all of the dies, comes this little plastic sheet. And you don't want to throw it away. You want to use that to help align your stamp for die cutting. And you can just trace around these little notches on either side, or you can place a little pin mark in the center. I just went around the outside for this sample. Then you're going to take your coordinating steel ruled die, or steel, or a thin, wafer thin die rather, I'm sorry. And you can see that it lines up with those little notches. I'm going to grab my Big Shot and the sandwich for cutting these thin dies is you're going to want to take the multi-purpose platform and you'll leave all the tabs shut. Then you'll place one of your cutting pads on top of that, cutting mats on top of that. Then you will take your paper and lay that on the cutting mat. I lined up the die with my stamped image and then place the other cutting mat on top. Then you'll simply just roll it through the machine and you end up with a perfectly die cut greeting little tag or label. So it's really fun. It's nice to have the coordinating die for these stamped images. And here you can see that card started. The next thing I'm going to share is just a die that I am not going to be using a coordinating stamp with. I'm just going to simply die cut it from some cardstock and some scraps of pattern paper. And the sandwich is the same. You use the multi-purpose platform with all the tabs closed, a cutting mat, the die, some paper, and the other cutting mat. So there I cut through some cardstock, and you can see it cuts through. This is some heavier weight cardstock. I'm going to cut those a couple of times. And then I'm going to cut several pieces of pattern paper using the same little pennant die. And these would be fun strung together to make a really long die, maybe for a scrapbook page or 
something like that. Now I just need to trim a, some little scraps of paper from some larger scraps I pulled out of my scrap paper bin. And then I'll just roll that through the machine as well. And I'm going to continue that for um, three other pieces of pattern paper. So there you can see one. And then I'll do several others. When I finished with that, I'm simply going to trim the triangles from the pennant and adhere them to the gray cardstock pennant for my card. Very simple and easy to paper piece together. I hope this has given you some ideas for using the Whip of Joy die cuts. Thanks for watching.